All right guys, so I've been getting a lot of people recently asking me if I could do a video on how to build muscle as a vegan. Um, so before we get started, just gonna put it out there that I'm not a vegan. I don't think I could ever do it. I just love animal products too much, to be honest, but nothing against vegans. If you wanna do that, that's great. So what I'll do today is I'll basically, I'm gonna do a shop and a meal prep on my current like bulking calories as if I was uh, vegan. So it's gonna be hard because I'm not used to the, certain, the foods and the cooking and stuff like that. So I'll do what I can, but I wanna give you, you guys an idea of what I would be doing if it was me. A couple things to go over. The reason why I don't, why I don't particularly like it is because I feel that you need to rely on supplements a lot. Um, I know, yeah, a lot of people have opinions on this, but for me personally, like you'll see in the diet today, I'll be having about three servings of protein in the form of supplements in a day. Unfortunately, EHP Labs have just bought out their new vegan range, Protein Blessed, and it's on the way and it hasn't arrived yet. So sadly, I won't be able to use that, but we're just gonna pretend like I've got a vegan protein because I don't wanna go out and buy one just for the purpose of the video. Um, but anyway, so that's, that's one thing is that um, there's gonna be a lot of supplementation of protein. Uh, because it is hard to find lean sources of protein as a vegan. If you if you have protein sources, generally it's, it comes with carbs. So you're looking at your lentils and your beans and stuff like that, or it comes with fats. So then you're looking at your nuts. It's not like you can just get egg whites, which are pure protein, or you know a chicken breast is very lean source of protein. So when you make a meal up, you're getting those other macronutrients in there too. So that's why it helps to have a good protein source. And if you're watching this as a girl, I know that there's a lot of girls asking me to do this too. So what I suggest for you is just lower the calories because this is my meal plan. So my calories are probably around 2,600. So you won't need as much you know, rice. You can easily take out some carbs, swap them for green veggies, have one less shake. You won't need as much protein, um, stuff like that. So I'll talk through it as I go. And again, if you're cutting, just do the same thing. You don't need as many calories. So pull some carbs out from rice and add some more vegetables in. Uh, you guys can play around with it. But for the purpose of this, this is a muscle gain video because I know a lot of vegans struggle to get their protein in and to actually build muscle because it is hard, especially if you're not tracking, you can easily have meals that don't have anywhere near as much protein. Uh, I don't care what some of the studies say, really guys, you need uh, you need protein to build muscle. It's just, it's just one of those things, it's fact. So um, with that being said, I think we're nearly ready to get the shopping done. I just wanna give my thoughts on, on the whole topic in general. It's not for me, but it can be done. You just gotta do it smart and think through it and I want you guys to adapt this um, to your goals, whatever it is, whether muscle building, fat loss, uh, your current calorie intake, whatever it is, just take this and just think, all right, that's how Zach would do it. Maybe I'll have a bit less of this. Just as long as you know that you can change this uh, because this diet won't suit everybody. But I've done a little like run through, I've planned it out a little bit. Um, I'm hoping it tastes good and um, I'll sample some stuff for you. So let's get the shopping done and make some gains as a vegan. Hey, so you're eating vegan with me today? I'm eating bear today. <laughs> she does look tasty. Ready bear, we're going shopping. Ready? Gotta suss this list. Never done a vegan grocery shop. I get a lot of veggies, that's about, that's about it. Yeah, we'll get some veggies. I'm thinking broccoli and spinach today. Uh, but whichever, whichever greens you really like. Imagine if this was the diet. <laughs> just, <laughs> just plates of broccoli. <laughs> that should do. Uh, we need some spinach as well. All about that baby leaf. It's cuter that way. <laughs> It's gonna be so weird to stay away from animal products. I'm not used to it. So hopefully I don't pick up something by accident. So next up, oh, this is this is like my section right here. This is all the vegans. Sick. Um, all right, so next up, tofu is, it's a good protein source, but to get a decent amount of protein, you kind of need to eat a lot of it. So I figured out, you're gonna need about 250 grams, which is um, a full pack of that. And that way, that'll give you around 32 grams of protein. So if you can stick with about 32 grams of protein, Per meal, that's that's kind of ideal. That's just plain. Is there any chicken flavored or? That's, <laughs> oh, that's honey soy. Probably has a bit extra carbs and sugars. Let's go. Let's go that. Let's go honey soy. And that's pretty much already cooked as well. But we'll, we'll still whack it. How do you reckon they'd go down? Worst case, you could go something like this. It's still high protein, but it's it's mainly made of tofu. But they're vegetarian sausages. Oh, it is high in protein, but again, I don't know what they're putting in this. Um, we're just going to stick to mainly whole foods today. 
oats. Oats will be brekkie, very easy. Um, they do have protein in them, but mainly carbs. So um, we're gonna need to add protein to this, but that'll be brekkie. Let's see if we can get some peanut butter as well. Any natural peanut butter is good, so we'll go Mavers. I'm just checking if, it, if it's vegan. I don't know for sure, so we'll skip it. It's my last vegan joke, oh. I swear to God. That's my last. So we will be using just one of these easy, like sachet rice for two of the meals, pure basmati, easy. Just a source of carbs, um, because this is a lean muscle building diet. Like I said before, if you want to cut, just don't have the rice, add more green vegetables, um, or if you need to bulk a little bit harder for a hard gainer, just add more. But this will be enough for two meals. So we're doing a, for one of the meals, we're doing a black bean burrito kind of thing. Um, so I've done this with beef mince before, but obviously we're not doing that. So we'll go, we'll get some salsa, some burrito seasoning, and we're gonna need some black beans too. Oh. So all of these beans, they are good sources of protein, but they are also good sources of carbs. Generally, they come in like a 50-50 ratio, um, but to get enough protein, you're gonna need to nearly have a whole, a whole tin. So this, so there's only six grams of protein per serve, and there's about three serves. So there's about, you're getting only about 20 grams in this, um, but it should be, it should be enough. <laughs> I'm getting a pump from holding these. It's actually hurting. I tried arms yesterday. It's sore. So did you forget your wallet on purpose? Or? Yeah, I did forget the wallet. <laughs> and you got this one, yeah? The tofu's not going to pay for itself. Yeah. <laughs> Good man. Paying for the groceries. <laughs> So I've just unpacked a majority of the stuff. Um, I'll show you what we're dealing with. So this will be meal one. We've got oats, some almond milk, frozen berries, and some peanut butter. And meal two will have the black bean burrito, which will mainly be black beans, bit of salsa, burrito seasoning, um, and I've whipped up some onions as well. And then we're gonna serve that with some rice, as well as our tofu stir fry that we're gonna make. And we're gonna just put some broccoli and spinach with both of those meals. Um, also, we're gonna have a post-workout shake, so we'll get that ready with some, uh, we'll use vegan protein, <laughs> and then we'll also use creatine. And then for before bed meal, we'll do a smoothie with berries, the protein powder, and some peanut butter again. And that should put us at around two and a half thousand calories, but I'll do that all as we go. Get some of that product. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so as I mentioned, this is, this is not a vegan protein, but for the purpose of today's video, it is. It's pure pea protein isolate. Zero. Animals aren't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this is EHP Plus' new blessed protein. Um, it's vegan, plant-based, and it hasn't got any whey proteins in it. That is not the letter G. What the f that was that? that was meant to be a G. <laughs> I was meant, hang on. What about that? Yeah. Better? Now it's believable. Now it's, would you buy that if you were vegan? 100%. Good. Yeah, get out of it. Tell us when you'd have enough. Is that a trick question or? <laughs> <laughs> just keep, I just keep cutting all day. <laughs> broccoli goes in the strainer. Cause the last time I got crucified when I didn't wash my broccoli, I forgot. Is it gritty? Nah, I just, just people, people, people commenting just... going, you didn't wash your broccoli, you oh. deserve to go to hell. I wonder what I'll do wrong this time. We'll find out. Um, so the broccoli, I'll wash that, and we also have to drain these beans too. There's proof. I jam packed to the top. To the brim. Usually they've got, so what are this, nine. This basically has more carbs than it does protein. So a lot of people say beans are the great source of protein, but they're not bad. But again, just keep in mind that it has got a lot of carbs in it. So lucky this is for muscle building. Um, we're not too worried about that. Here are some items I prepared earlier. We've got some onions. And we've also got, so that's for the burrito. And then we've also got some spring onion, garlic, and ginger. They were chopped up. I had to wear sunnies when I was chopping the onion because <laughs> oh, I didn't want to cry. So this is also the stir fry sauce for the tofu. So we put in some soy sauce, uh, some rice wine vinegar, a bit of sugar-free maple syrup for the sweetness, and some sesame oil as well. Basically um, equal parts nearly. So rice is done. 
get some of these cooking. So I can cook two things at once and not stuff them both up. <laughs> so a bit of olive oil for the burrito. Go some sesame oil for the stir fry. Just taste oh. better. Can we have sesame? Yeah, they can have sesame. Y yeah, <laughs> just checking. <laughs> uh, don't ask me. Let's do this. It's actually not too much. What are you chucking in there? So that's the spring onion, garlic and ginger for the stir fry and the oil. It smells delicious already. If this spits at me, I'm gonna spit back. <laughs> <laughs> about 70 grams of oats. This will be meal one. Just cover it with the almond milk. And about 150 grams of berries. Just gonna microwave for around three minutes. Oh, let's put these beans in. Is that burrito seasoning? Yeah, it just makes everything so much better. So be generous with that. That's gonna be the sauce here. This is definitely what I'd be having if I was full vegan. Bear, what are you doing? Yeah, that's nice. Let's see. Yeah. Let's get this shake packed. So. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have like 17 cutscenes of me patting bear. <laughs> so this will be the post-workout shake, which will just be probably five to 10 grams of creatine. And we'll also have a scoop of vegan isopep zero meat or any other plant-based protein of your choosing. As long as it's got about 25 grams of protein. So that's post-workout shake done. Bang. We'll get the smoothie ready. So this is before bed. We're just gonna go a scoop of protein. Same again with the berries, maybe 150 grams. Put the berries in there, put almond milk in too. And we're gonna go like a heap tablespoon of peanut butter, so it should be around 30 grams, 30 ish. So protein and fats before bed. You ready? I'm ready. That's done, we'll leave that. So just to finish the oats, put another scoop of protein in. So is that breakfast? This will be breakfast, yep, and another tablespoon of peanut butter. Oh. I could just smash this whole this whole jar, I swear oh, to God, yeah. and just stir it through. Any particular mixing technique or? Oh look, I'm going for the just everything <laughs> right now. You definitely will uh, spill a bit, but you get a few figure eight patterns in. Smell that. How good? Can't do that right now. No, that's too good. So that's that's done. First meal done. So meals two and three. Uh, we've got the rice already cooked, so let's put that in. I'd probably suggest pre and post workout meals if you could. So for example, if you're training um, in the afternoon, this would be your lunch and this would be your dinner. It's just pretty simple because that way you've got the bulk of your carbs uh, in and around your workouts. So like I was saying guys, you'll need to adjust the, the quantities of the ingredients you're using. If you want to add less or more rice or less beans, again, it's up to you. Uh, it just depends on your goals. Um, but another thing as well that you just got to be aware of is that the, the protein sources are different. So I, I do believe that protein source from like, say a, a meat product would be um, more beneficial than a protein source from a soy product, especially like for, for guys. But it's just, you, you can't really, you can't really choose. This is as best as you're going to get, but it is pretty necessary to supplement with a powder um, regardless. Get a bit of salsa in. What we've got is breakfast, meal one, we've got oats with protein powder, peanut butter, and some berries. I'll put all the macros here as well. Um, meal two, that looks sick, how good is that? Um, mm. We've got a black bean burrito, uh, like a burrito bowl with rice, 
And meal three, we've got a tofu stir fry with rice again. Um, your post-workout will be uh, protein powder with creatine. And then before bed will be a smoothie, protein powder, peanut butter, berries, almond milk. Um, so hopefully I think it'll sit at around two and a half thousand, give or take a couple of hundred. Um, and that's basically my intake now. So this is where I'm at now. If I was to switch over to vegan, it'd change my macros. Fats would be lower, carbs would be higher, but calories and protein would be the same. So that's the most important thing when you're trying to create a meal plan for yourself is make sure your protein's high enough. So go for about one to 1.2 grams per pound of your body weight. And then you can use my fitness pal and make some adjustments. You might need two shakes, you might only need one, but I think it's definitely worth buying either way. Um, so I will put the blessed powder in the description for you guys as well, because um, I'm guessing if you're watching this, you're probably vegan or thinking about it, so that'd be a good option for you too. But, um, but this is it. Are you gonna eat all this, Anthony? Yeah, I'll smash it. Yeah. Yeah, work it. I'll have to do a taste test though. Generally, if something smells like food, it's gonna taste. This is true. Um, good. Oats, I'm pretty familiar with how these taste. That's the best. Yeah. How about this? It's actually really nice. Tofus. I could easily do this yeah. for a day. It's just a bit of variety. And that's amazing. Mm. And you can make different ways of cooking things as well. I always go for something Mexican, usually. I always will do some burrito or taco. Um, something Asian is really nice, but you could also do a curry. I was going to make a tofu curry. Um, there's a million different things to do. But there you have it, guys. There's my vegan meal prep to build muscle. Um, I do hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked it, leave a comment, hit the like button, and make sure you subscribe to the channel. And otherwise, I think that is, that is it from me. And um, you guys know what to do. Stay massive. Just what I'm saying.